we're back. <laughs> okay. Me either. I do talk to Josephine. The Inquisition cannot remain in battle. If she can't prove it was founded on Justinia's orders. This is an inopportune time, Marquis. More of the faithful flock here each day. But allow me to introduce you to the brave soul who risked his life to slow the magic of the breach. Sir Trevelyan, may I present the Marquis Durellion, one of Divine Justinia's greatest supporters. And the rightful owner of Haven. How do Durellion lend Justinia these lands for pilgrimage? This Inquisition is not a beneficiary of this arrangement. This is the first I've heard of Haven having an owner outside the Chantry. My wife, Lady Machin of Denham, has claimed to Haven by ancient treaty with the monarchs of the realm. We were honored to lend its use to divine Justinia. She is a... She was a woman of supreme merit. I will not let an upstart order remain on her holy grounds. Hmm. Interesting, considering the Inquisition was begun by the left and right hands of the Divine. I've seen no written records from Sister Liliana or Seeker Pentacles that Justinia approved the Inquisition. If you won't take her at her word, I'm afraid Seeker Pentagast must challenge him to a duel. What? It is a matter of honor among the Navarans. Shall I arrange the bout for tonight? No, no. <laughs> Yay, Joseph. Perhaps my reaction to the Inquisition's presence was somewhat hasty. <sighs> we face a dark time, Your Grace. Divine Justinia would not want her passing to divide us. She would, in fact, trust us to forge new alliances to the benefit of all, no matter how strange they might seem. That mask. That is the best mask. I'll think on it, Lady Montilio. It's got a freaking leather mustache carved into it. The Inquisition might stay in the meantime. And an inch thick of what's supposed to be under eye liner. That's beautiful. So are you, Josephine. I'm so pleased the Marquis isn't tossing us out into the cold. His grace is only the first of many dignitaries we must contend with. You expect more people in Haven? Undoubtedly. And each visitor will spread the story of the Inquisition after they depart. An ambassador should ensure the tale is as complimentary as possible. Uh, let's not get into all that right now. We'll do that later. The Inquisition is lucky to have you as an advocate, Lady Montillier. Thank you. Let us hope so. Vedas' politics have become agitated as of late. I hope to guide us down smoother paths. But please excuse me. I've much work to do before the day is done. <sighs> do I have anything here? Please nope. Please tell me if you find something. What have your ears heard, Leliana? Anything new we don't already know about? No, nothing. Yep. At your service. You do that. Let's <laughs> see what we have. Assassins, yes, that seems very much in order for this guy. Okay, so I've been told that I have something that I need to do, so this is going to be a an extraordinarily short stream of five minutes. I'll be back probably tonight.